Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today's video is super, super exciting for me because I am collabing with two of my absolute favourite people, two sisters, friends, amazing creators. So there is Erica Conga. Um, I will link both channels in the description box below. Um, Erica I met through my channel um, through her commenting on my videos. We got so close. Um, yeah, we are each other's family. I adore every single one of them and especially my gorgeous little man Wesley um, who is Erica's grandson. He's adorable. Um, but Erica's channel is so much fun. She does a bit of everything um, and she does do a lot of collabs. I love how she brings so many new faces to me and to her other subscribers and helps just lift others up and that is just wonderful. And what all of this should be about um, helping each other, supporting each other, lifting each other up and she does such a fantastic job of it. She is also the best storyteller. I love to hear her stories. She has the best stories. Um, and yeah, my daughter calls her Auntie Erica but she says that Erica is the American me and it's quite uncanny actually. The similarities between us down to our strange obsession with using so much deodorant there is no chance we're gonna smell um that amused me so much to find out that i'm not the only one that thinks that way also we love the same loads of the same things um down to book authors mark billingham he wrote one of my absolute favorite books ever sleepyhead it is fantastic if you're into kind of thrillery type books Mark Billingham is amazing. Um, yeah, Erica's got such a kind of warm, inviting presence on camera. So when you're watching her, you really feel like you are in the room with her. And yeah, I adore her so, so much. She does some beautiful looks. She's another colour lover. She's another green lover. I adore her. And then there is Katie, Make Up For Lost Time. And oh my God, Katie, where do I start? I adore her. Right at the be beginning of my channel, I'd been watching Katie for ages and I started my channel and she DM'd me on Instagram to say, hey girl, I can't find you, you know, send me the link to your channel. And I was like, oh my God, Katie actually wants to, to subscribe to my channel. She She wants to, watch me i couldn't believe it i was fangirling and i messaged her at one point asking to do a collab she said yes and i was oh my god i can't believe she said yes she actually wants to collab with me and oh so yes the beginning i was so fangirling um but katie has become such an important person in my life she is just such an inspiration to so many people i think far more than even she realizes she reaches people um that have had some of the same struggles and to see what she's done with her life and oh i just think she is a true inspiration and just such a wonderful person she's so funny um oh I love my Katie time. She knows this. Um, so it was Katie that thought up the theme for today's collab. So she suggested that we choose an album cover um, to base our makeup look on um, using the P. Louise Watch the Queen Conquer. Um, so yeah, we could talk about things Queen related. Um, and so, yes, I chose the Bohemian Rhapsody cover, which I will pop up here. Um, so this is the colour story I'm going to be working with. And the kind of title, Collaboration of Queens. Katie thought that up because we're all queens. P. Louise is a queen. Queen 
Freddie Mercury, Queen, um, and the Watch the Queen Conquer palette. So I have rambled for long enough. I'm going to get into this and we'll have a chat about Queen. So I'm going to move myself closer. I think that's close enough. And I've already primed the upper part of my lids, above my lids, above, above my crease. What's wrong with me? Um, with the P. Louise Base Pro in Rumor 02. I love it. And I am first going to use one of the basic cosmetic bases from P. Louise. This one is in the shade Purple Passion. Um, so I'm going to start with this. I'm going to pop some just on the back of my hand there. And and grab a liner brush and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to map out the shape okay so the lines are on I'm just going to use a little just a little brush just to kind of Smudge, smudge the edges. Okay, so I've got this on and smudged out a little bit. So I am going to start with Takeover. And so, what made me choose? this particular album cover well me my daughter and my other half very recently watched the bohemian rhapsody movie and oh my god it was amazing uh rami malek is it malek i love him he's brilliant and oh my god they could not have cast a better person as Freddie Mercury. I just think he did an absolutely fantastic job. And then doing a little bit of research into it, like for for doing this collab, I found out that Rami Malek for the to be able to wear the teeth, like the prosthetic teeth, and get used to talking in them like whilst wearing them and singing whilst wearing them. He had to start getting used to those teeth from a year before filming. That's dedication. That is pure dedication. The film I just thought was so well done. It was it was just beautiful. Such a beautiful film. Um, I definitely cried a lot <laughs> during the uh, film because... It, I, I get emotional with stuff like that anyways. Um, but yeah, Freddie Mercury was just such such an amazing forceful forceful presence, like really powerful presence. And I didn't think anybody would be able to pull off, you know, playing him, like being him in the film. But... Rami Malek just did such an amazing, amazing job. But yeah, not only did I choose the album cover because of watching the film recently, but also the colour story. Um, right up my alley. I just wanted to try and find something a bit different to do with it. Um, but I love, I love the album cover. I just think it, it just catches your eye I think it's beautiful and I think next I'm going to go into fun and games I think this is going to look beautiful I also wanted to talk about like Queen since um Freddie Mercury being gone the rest of the group didn't play like didn't have anyone else join them that was until Adam Lambert. Now, I'm going to start with Adam Lambert first because I 
used to watch American Idol constantly. I I absolutely loved it. And when Adam Lambert was on there, he was just amazing. I mean, that guy can sing anything, absolutely anything. He so impressive. Ooh, I'm liking this. Um but yeah, I he was one of my favorites um when watching American Idol just because he he was just wow. He has such an amazing stage presence which you could kind of liken to Freddie Mercury, but he's got that same real charisma, real stage presence, and you can't help but watch him and, oh, but yeah, so Adam Lambert was kind of invited to join Queen, the rest of the, the group, um, and he tours with them and it's Queen and Adam Lambert. They've not... I love how it was done so that they didn't... Um, so it wasn't like they were replacing Freddie Mercury. Um, it's more like he, he's... More like a tribute, I think. Something like that. Um, but... I don't think they could have picked a better person to to join them because Adam Lambert is just truly amazing. Okay, so I think I am next going to go into Can't Competes. This is so much fun. Um, This is this is gonna look perfect, I think. I hope. Um I cannot wait to see what Erica and Katie do. Their looks like they're gonna be amazing, of course. Um but also I can't wait to like hear what they're gonna talk about. this is so pretty um so yeah where was i um so queen's songs kind of um have a sentimental place in my heart also because when i lived on the isle of wight which is where i was born and grew up um when ice hockey team the white link raiders and I used to go to watch them every week, like me and the family. There was my mum, my sister, my uncles, my aunt, cousins. It was it was just a, the best Saturday night ever. It, it was so much fun. And they would play Queen songs. Um, we Will Rock You was one. And everyone did the clapping and the hands up. You know, it... The atmosphere that it brought was amazing. Um, but then, like, the Raiders won. They would play We Are The Champions. And everyone would sing. And it was just really memorable times. Like, fond memories that I have from that. So, I think next I'm going to go into Piece Of Me. So yeah, just those songs just always brought about just a really amazing atmosphere. It was just an amazing, fun time. And yeah, so whenever I hear either of those songs, I'm instantly taken back to like in, being in the cold ice arena, like wrapped up in your coat, stood at the edge watching the game because we used to stand behind like 
the same you've got the the rink and then you've got the two goals one each end well the end the end as you walked in we used to stand there so like really close to the goal and close to the action um because it can get quite physical ice hockey and um, so if there was anyone like slamming people into the sides near there it would be like right in front of us it was just amazing an amazing atmosphere amazing time very fond memories isn't it amazing how songs can literally take you down memory lane and yeah queen has a, f a few songs that definitely do that for me so the song bohemian rhapsody just takes me back to a time in middle school where my friend used to sing it all the time um unfortunately she is no longer with us um so they're fond memories of her and yeah I think it's nice to have that right I'm going to quickly go back through the shades blend them a bit better um, and probably cut cut my crease as well and then we will continue so just stay there okay guys so all blended I cut my crease using the P. Louise cut carver I love this it's like a little balm um, it's brilliant for being precise and then I filled in with the P. Louise acid rain uh, blank canvas um, I love this so I'm first going to go back into takeover that deep dark purple so I'm just going to stamp, stamp this on. Yeah, I'm just wanting to be precise. Yeah, I'm liking that. So I'm just going to go in with the brush that I used with that shade originally. I'm just going to come in and just smudge it. Just smudge it in a bit. Oh, this is so much fun. Um, oh, I do have one more. One more kind of queen reference thing um so my boa constrictor um severus snake um was very very nearly named mercury um because he has a mustache just like freddie mercury i will pop a picture up there you can see his tash and maybe see what i mean yeah, he very, very nearly became, well, he was very nearly Mercury. Um, but my, unfortunately, my love, I said unfortunately, my love of um, Harry Potter and Severus Snape kind of won over there. Oh, I am having so much fun, so much fun doing this yeah so i'm next going to go into fun and games it's using the same colors really and then i'm going to kind of blend that into into the purple yeah 
I'm loving how this is looking. I'm just keeping it, keeping that kind of gap there and bringing the pink in just a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit further. And I'm just going to kind of go between the two just to make it a nice blend. Hey okay, guys, I'm next going into Can't Compete. I'm just using the same brush as I used before. And again, making sure to leave, leave the gap above. This is so much fun. So guys, what is your favourite Queen song and do you have any like happy memories kind of attached to any of the songs let me know let's have a chat in the comment section below I'm super excited to hear what both Katie and Erica have to say I'm super excited Katie came up with such a fun collab idea it is I don't think she could have picked anything better. She did a fantastic job. So, Katie, thank you so much for, yeah, giving me the opportunity to play around, play around a bit more. Oh, this is beautiful. And then, finally, finally for the mats, I'm going to Piece of Me. And I'm just using the same brush that I used up there. I'm literally just going to blend just this tiny little area down here and then up and into that orange a little bit. Oh. I'm annoyed that I've got a little kind of lump <laughs> on my eye and the shadow doesn't want to sit nicely on it so it is blended. <laughs> it's just... Uh, yeah such is life oh, i am literally having the best time the best time i'm just going to go back through them make sure they're all blended nicely and then we'll continue okay guys so i'm going to bring this purple down onto the lower lash line just so they kind of tie I hope you know what I mean. Um, oh, this is. I have been loving every second of this. I do love to just play around with colours and. Well, yeah, as you can tell, probably. And then just dipping into, actually, I think, I think, this so I'm going to go into Defeat. Yeah, just using the same brush I used for Fun and Games. I'm just going to go over the edge and then back into the purple, just using the brush. Just trying to make sure I can kind of um, ombre it. Kind of. And just taking a little bit of that orange. Um, I can't remember what it's called. A bit of Can't Compete. And I'm just bringing that just onto this part here and then finally into the yellow piece of me and we're just going to use that all along just kind of all along the, the bottom of all of them okay 
Okay, so let's move into some shimmers, shall we? The first shimmer I'm going to go in with is, or is it? No. First one I'm going to go in with is Make It Count. I am going to spray my brush just purely because I've got all of my base makeup on. And that is going to go right on this just outer part here. Beautiful. Okay, then I think next I'm going to go into Rival. Just again, I'm going to spray my brush so I don't get the fallout. Take this over most of what's left on my lid. Most of the most of the space left. This is a stunning shade. I am going to... I'm going to go in with ruler next. Again, spraying the brush. And then I'm going to take that just on what is left of the lid. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, I am so happy with how this is coming out, this look. Oh. Yeah, the Bohemian Rhapsody album cover was definitely, definitely the way to go. What I love is also where we've all chosen different album covers. I mean, the likelihood is that our looks would have been different anyways, but it will show the different kind of looks you can do just with this one palette. Okay, so for the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with Strategy. This one here. Again, I'm going to spray it and I'm going to place that just at the front there. Yeah. And then for the inner corner and brow bone highlight, I'm going to use Elevate. Um, for my inner corner, I am going to spray it. So let's see what this baby does. Oh, look at that. It's so beautiful. Yeah. And then taking just a tiny bit and popping that just right, right up against the brow there. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, guys. So I'm going to head off, add all the finishing touches, and then I'll come back to show you my finished look and... Yeah, say goodbye. So if you would like to see that, then don't go anywhere. Okay, guys, so I am back with the finished look. 
let me know what you think in the comment section below katie erica i really hope that i've done this justice let me know what you think um right before i carry on talking i'm just gonna let you know a few of the things that i popped on my face so for liner like the winged liner i used two of the altitude cosmetics k kit liners um i used love on the outside and then joy on the inside um for mascara i used the Too faced damn girl mascara um the lashes are from altitude cosmetics and the style ego i did receive these in pr i love them um the i filled in the the gap the gap the line and um, with the collection grab i can't speak with the collection glam crystals dazzling gel liner and i think it looks really pretty um where am i at now blush so i use the nabla skin glazing in the shade lola this is beautiful it adds a really nice sheen as well but i thought it went perfectly and then for highlighter i used the about face light lock powder in the shade smother i love this component look at this how cool is that um but yeah this is this is the shade i love it and i did dab this over the lipstick i have on which brings me to the lipstick so this is one of the she glam lipsticks and i cannot read that for the life of me purple charm um but it's one of these ones um yeah super cheap but really nice lipstick so yeah guys this is my queen album bohemian rhapsody album cover inspired look that was a mouthful um i love that katie chose that we use the watch the queen kong palette because i love this i'm not the biggest fan of their packaging just because you have to open them separately um but i love both sides i mean here i used um the purples and pinks and shimmers and then from the other side um we use the oranges and oranges and yellows um i love this palette this is just such an amazing palette quality is amazing i have the money shop palette on its way to me and i can't wait to try that too but anyways that's not what this video is about so using the p louise watch the queen conquer palette and inspired by this album cover this is what i came up with now i'm sure that katie's and erica's looks are going to be absolutely amazing i know i'm gonna love them and i'm super super excited to watch their videos so katie and erica girls thank you so so much for collabing with me this has been so much fun um i've loved being inspired by something the picture um picture photo photo cover what is wrong with me the album cover um yeah i had so much fun i even picked out my bright pink top to wear because i thought that that would enhance the experience yeah i think yeah we're gonna go with that um but yeah this was so so much fun erica and katie i cannot wait to see your videos to hear what your topics are topics to hear what you have to say and to see your beautiful looks i am so excited so yeah thank you so much for watching um if you've liked this please do give it a like um if you're not subscribed already or if you've come over from erica's or katie's channel hi i'm steph um I love colourful makeup, I love indie brands, and yeah, apparently I don't know how to speak today. So, if you are here from one of the beautiful ladies, um, thank you so much for watching. I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe, stick around. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. 
Guys, if you are not subscribed to Erica or Katie, their channels and videos will be linked in the description box below. Please make sure you go check them out if you don't know who they are already. Um, they are both absolutely wonderful, both colour lovers, just beautiful people inside and out. My sisters, I love them. Katie and Erica, I love you. And this has been wonderful. So guys, thank you for watching. I hope you're all having a great day, great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Bye.